shortly. Hopefully this call won't last too long, maybe like an, uh, 45 minutes to an hour, just depends on how quickly we get through this. And the reason why we're having this webinar is because we wa actually wanted to make sure that we were able to answer all of the questions that we're getting. We're actually getting loads and loads of questions on the, um, the chat feature that we have on our, our front end sales page. And so basically we decided to put this thing together that way we can just make sure that you guys understand. Now, one of the biggest questions that we continue to get as we're getting started with the Shopify app is we're getting questions from people that are not familiar with drop shipping or Shopify stores or e-com, the, the e-com business in general. And so basically we're just putting this together so that way we can get that out to you guys right away and show you how quickly and how easily it is to use uh, the Shopify uh, app. Now, Shopify has literally grown, it's literally exploding. I believe the last time I looked at the statistics that there was well over 100,000 stores and thousands of stores are growing. And because everybody is moving from you know offline to online, I mean, just think about how big uh, Amazon has grown over the years and think about how big some of these other places like AliExpress has grown over the years. And uh, it's the opportunity is now, and it's a sustainable business that really anybody could get into and easily make six figures a year right away in this business as long as you have some tools and you have some training and stuff like that. And so we wanna provide that for you because we wanna to continue to see many, many success stories down the road. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask uh, Chase, we've got kind of a little outline of stuff that we wanna go over in this call. And I'm gonna ask him to kind of go over um, how to set up your store. But before I do it, um, I've got Lawrence here, and Lawrence is actually going to show you some of the results that he's had. He's going to tell you his story about where he came from, how he started, how long he's been in the business, and how quickly he was able to scale his business out to multiple stores that are doing six figures. And these are things, guys, these are things that you guys could do easily on your own. Uh, just got to start somewhere, right? And so let's go ahead and uh, pull the, the uh, actual... The, the face of this thing over to Lawrence right now and let him take over and let him tell him sto his story. So Lawrence, go ahead and take over. All right. Hey guys, uh, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Um, Lawrence Aponte here. So for those of you that don't know me, um, I've been doing Shopify now uh, since August. It was when I first uh, started it. And um, since then I, I've, expanded and I now have like five stores. Um, I do about like 95% drop shipping and um, show you guys one of my stores here. It's a uh, super quick deals. And uh, basically uh, if you see here in the corner, um, this is from when the store first started was in September um, till March till now. And you can see we've done, you know, about $140,000 in sales. Um, wow. Yeah, here's another one of ours. Uh, this one here, we started in August. This was the very first store that we did. And this is like from August to December. And we did, you know, 137000 And basically, you know, we just, everything has been drop shipped. So we, you know, found a supplier overseas um, with a cheap item. And we were able to utilize... Facebook advertising and sell the products directly on Facebook. Um, yeah, and that's, I mean, that's pretty much the, the gist of it. So, I mean, it's, it's so Lawrence, just to kind of go into that a little bit deeper too, is um, you started in September or when did you say you started in August? On yeah, August yeah, August um, was when we first started, August 3rd. August 3rd, okay, yeah. so you started the store on August 3rd and it looks like, you know, looking, the cool thing about, the back end of this, this is it guys too, this is the back end, this is like your area of the Shopify store where you can actually see like your sales results, you can do like customer management, and stuff like that. Now if you notice it gives you tons and tons of detail back here, like I'm looking at like where's the number one country where most of your sales are coming from or most of your, I would say like your, your traffic that's going to your store. Showing a graph, that graph, that beautiful graph right there where it shows like like I'm looking at him saying, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, okay, August 3rd, he started, he made some sales, he had some small wins, and All then right. somewhere in like the middle towards the end of August, you actually just started crushing it um, and having major ends, wins. Let me ask you, Lawrence, when you first had your first $1,000 day, how did that feel? 
Wow, I was so ecstatic. I could, I just, I mean, I couldn't believe it. I went from literally, you know, like having no sales. I mean, just starting brand new, you know, literally like within the first couple of days. I mean, you can see here we had like $23 on the first day, you know, the second day, $130. And it just continued to grow and grow as I, you know, spent more money on advertising. And then How before much? you know it, I mean, it was like $1,000 days were nothing. And it was yeah, like $3,000. Yeah, I'm looking at that like I'm I'm thinking to myself. So I'm looking at that I'm saying I'm seeing like you open the store and like 16 days later you had 16 or 17 days later you had your first thousand dollar day. Um, how much time did you did you spend actually building that store? Um, the process at first I mean was kind of uh, difficult. I mean because I, I was I was like finding um, products on a site called AliExpress. Uh -huh. And um, I mean, it was just, it was, when I say difficult, it was just hard because it was like a, a, a long process, just moving the products over. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was kind of time, time consuming at first, but once, you know, I moved a few products and then I started selling a few things, um, you know, it didn't take very long to set up a store at all. It's kind of like driving a car. Like the first time you try to drive a car, you, you don't know how to push the clutch in. And, you know, if you're driving a stick, especially you got to learn all that stuff and get a feel for it. And you have to get like burn that muscle memory uh, to learn how to do it. And uh, kind of too, to give you guys that are live on here, to give you guys like a backstory of Lawrence um, and even Chase Bowers, um, they're actually in a mastermind together. And Lawrence, uh, part of the biggest reason, like he just, he just said that the research end of things took forever to find the products and stuff like that. And uh, Chase kind of surveyed Lawrence in the mastermind and said, you know, what's what's your pain points, man? What are the things, because Chase is more of a developer and he's like, what are the areas that, you know, you're, <clears throat> you're struggling with or what are the things that take you forever? And so one of the things that took him forever that just popped out was the fact that you'd have to open and click every single vendor to see if they even accept ePacket. That was like the first problem uh, that was a, an easy solution to figure out. The second problem was cutting and pasting. If, uh, Lawrence, if you don't mind going back to like an AliExpress store and just going to a vendor. Yeah, um, sure. Hey, and Carl, let's, to, I don't want to interrupt here, but let's take it back to a very, very, very high level where we are talking about just like what is drop shipping. It, it, we shouldn't, it shouldn't take long, but just yeah. like, you know, what is it? Like what, and why do you do it? And what's the benefits? You know, a lot of people think you have to order bulk order products and store inventory. So kind of what are some of the benefits of, of drop shipping and why did, would you do it? And kind of what is it just in a general sense? Are you asking me or are you asking Lawrence? Uh, I'm asking, yeah, Lawrence, um, if you'll just take a moment to kind of explain. Yeah, drop shipping is basically where um, it's it's sort of like an, an arrangement where there's a supplier where, in this case, we'll use AliExpress as an example. AliExpress has, you know, tons and tons of products. So these products are, you know, you're able to buy them um, for yourself or in this sense, for e-com, you can list them on your website and um, sell them to customers. Now, the whole um, thing with drop shipping is you don't need to hold any inventory. In fact, you don't even need any money up front. Um, you would take like an item like this, like this hard hat that's selling for $24, and you would, you know, mark it up substantially, maybe, you know, to 49 bucks, and you put it on your site, and then you'd sell it. And then once it got sold, then you would take the money that the customer paid you, and in a sense, you'd buy the helmet, and then the um, supplier sends the merchandise directly to your customer. Yeah, so, yeah, it just makes it super easy for, for those of you who have, who have never heard of drop shipping or the, or the concept of it. You have, you literally go create a Shopify store. They'll even give you a 14-day free trial. Um, and we'll, and I actually even have an extended trial that you can get um, as well. So that gives you some time that you can use it for free. And then the next thing you can do is just, just like Lawrence said, go to AliExpress. It's basically just a huge catalog of products. Uh, and you get, it's pretty much like an Amazon, but 
uh, the way it works is you're dealing directly with manufacturers now. So they're giving you these really, really low prices. So you can go find a product there and you can literally just download all the images and then uh, and on Shopify, create a product, give it a title, upload those images and give it a little description uh, to help sell it. And, and you've literally just put your first product on your store just by copying and pasting some images. Um, so then when you sell that product, somebody pays you on Shopify, you actually have the money at this point. So now you can just go over to AliExpress to that same item where you found it originally. And then you literally just click the buy button and place the order. And then instead of using your address, you use the customer's address. And so, uh, and then you put a little note in to the seller to not include an invoice. And then that, um, the, the vendor on AliExpress will send that item directly to the customer. And that is, that's how dropshipping works. And that's the beauty of it and the benefit of it. You don't have to hold any inventory. You can test products very, very easily. And you can start making money like right away. Um, so, and uh, Carl, I'll turn it back over to you at this point. <laughs> yeah. No problem. So yeah, great points there too, by the way, is just, you know, to really deep dive into and, and explain what drop shipping is. And, and the beautiful thing about it is that you don't have to hold on to inventory. You don't have to fulfill orders, that kind of stuff. I mean, you still have to fulfill them as far as getting the information to the, uh, the vendor. But the beautiful thing about it is you're just not sitting, you're not filling up your garage full of stuff that you hopefully sell or you don't sell. You're actually going to fulfill on stuff that you sold. So the cool thing about that is that if you're spending money on like advertising or anything like that, you can have an immediate return on investment and then you can fulfill those orders. So kind of to just go back into what we were talking about before was how do you get your product from AliExpress over to your Shopify store? And the, you know, the way that everybody has to do this is this is just the way everybody has to do this. So if we're looking at a, a, a moon necklace right now with a little star in it, that probably is a hot seller. There's definitely a market. Anything you can find on here, there's definitely a target and a market that will fulfill on these orders and these type of products. And so before we get into anything like that, how do you get this into your store? Looking at it has one, two, three, four, five, six images. Um, then you got to see a thing over there. See on the right where it says metal color. All of those are, I believe, different products. So those are what we call variants or styles. Really, like really, they're styles, but they're variants uh, as far as when you got to put that information over to your Shopify store. Then you see at the very top, that's kind of like a subject line or a headline where it says 2016. Newest moon pendants and necklace, silver, silver plated chain necklace, give fashion for, for women, men. Those are kind of like what you would put in like your, you know, your uh, subject line or your headline for each of the, uh, the products. And then you can see the price. Look at the price of that. It's got a sell going on till the 29th, 50 cents, 56 cents per piece. And you could easily sell this piece for $2.00. You could sell it for $10 even. You could do free plus shipping. You could do, uh, Lawrence, we were talking about this. You could do flash sales for like $2 plus shipping and handling. There's a lot of ways that you could actually sell this product and, um, and, and make it stick out for people in advertisements or if, you did, if you're like an SEO background, whatever the case may be. But the pain here is how long is it going to take me to build this with all of these variants, all of these images, uh, make sure that they're in the right place where they need to be. Make sure that this has the the e packet. And by the way, uh, if you don't know what e packet is, um, and and one, Lawrence, maybe you cut in there and, and tell me if someone if I'm not explaining it. But look right here where it says 10 to 15 days. E packet's going to cost you two dollars and 44 cents per piece. So that right there, you know that the per piece cost is now going to go up to almost three dollars. So you're going to need to be able to sell these at you know, and say $9 a pop to, to make a return of investment. And that's how you would list it. Now, the thing is, is ePacket, just to, to, to explain it again, is basically it's, it's China's post mail. 
and they've got to deal with the U.S. Postal Service here in the U.S. to where they can ship products for dirt cheap, really. I mean, you you know, shipping this at two dollars at and thirty cents. Some of them, sometimes you can find them for even less, for like a dollar thirty. Sometimes they're included for free. Um, it just depends on the vendor themselves. But these are some of the things that you got to do as far as uh, a little bit of research, and uh, and basically just gets it gets it in their hands within ten to fifteen days on average. So that way they can get you know they can get it right away. Uh, Lawrence, is that correct as far as uh, explaining that, or even yeah, yeah, that that that's that's it in um in a nutshell. It's just like their express it's express packet, their express shipping to us here in the states. Very cool. So yeah, so you can see that you want to make sure they have that. You know, these are like your little checklist. But the app, the Shopify app, is going to do all this for you with with just a click or two. Um, where before, and this and Lawrence, you probably couldn't stand this I'm sure my wife couldn't stand this when she was doing it she would have to like cut and paste each image she had actually cut the image out and uh, instead of just like saving the image she had to like cut the image out then she had to place each one of those images with the right variant then she had to make sure she had her headlines her subject lines she had to make sure that she had the body copy so if you want to scroll down and, and you can show like if there's more details included all of this stuff, all of these details, like all of that right there, I, uh, item specifications, and then the, obviously they're showing you the company has other products that they sell, but all of those specifications, all of these little images right here, it's painful, okay? It takes you anywhere from 15 minutes to even probably an hour to get this over, and a lot of people, what they were doing as a, uh, as a solution to this is they were actually outsourcing and hiring VAs, and I can tell you that VAs are, will work, but they don't always work. Sometimes you have to go through VAs um, to find good ones that actually go to work, and it's hard for you to actually watch them to make sure that they're actually doing their job. So something like this, something like having the the Shopify store, uh, the Shopify app, I mean, uh, it just makes it easier. So, so basically what I'm going to do next is actually I've asked Chase to show you how easy it is to build a store from scratch, just how long it takes you to get a store up, and then we're gonna give you guys just a quick review on how to use the app, and that way it should help you guys out on making a decision. So Chase, if you wanna go ahead and take it over. Yeah, all right, give me a second here, and I'm going to change the presenter back to me. All right, can, uh, can everyone see my screen? If you can see my screen with the, uh, the notes here, where it says six figures with drop shipping, just type a one. Should be good. All right. Can everyone see my screen? I'm at Carl, uh, Lawrence, can you guys see my screen? All right. Yes, I can see it. Okay, I'm getting good. Yeah, I can see the screen perfectly well. Great. All right, yeah, so let's dive in. So, for, um, so we've talked about um, the process of adding products to your Shopify store and some of the pain points and why, why it's so difficult and why I even wanted to create a Shopify app. So um, let me just give you a quick demo uh, of how this works. So first of all, let's go to AliExpress. And let's search for some Search for some sunglasses here. All right, again, so I'm I'm going through the process here. I want to. Um, I'm really into sunglasses. I think I can sell them. I have a market. Uh, so, uh, and so what I want to do is create uh, a store, my whole store around sunglasses, or I could create just a section of my store around sunglasses. It might just be a category item. So in this case, I'm scrolling down, and you notice the first thing that you see are these little overlays, and this lets you know uh, that this item has ePacket. Now, before Shopify app, uh, you literally had you wouldn't know any of this information. And again, we talked about how ePacket is a faster shipping, so it allows you to make your customers happier because they will get their products faster. If you, uh, some people still send China Post but uh, you will have a lot of customer complaints because it can take up to 30 to 40 days to get their products. So ePacket is definitely something uh, 
if you can, uh, uh, to implement and to use in your store. So again, we're scanning down and we see certain products that have ePacket. You can see that this one right here doesn't have ePacket. We have another one here that doesn't have ePacket. And, uh, and before, none of this information would show. You would literally have to click into the product and then you just uh, let it load. And then you would have to click here and just to see if it has ePacket. So that one, we already knew it did, but that's the old method of doing it. So again, you can see it just speeds it up uh, tremendously. All right, so uh, let's scan the products page here to see if we can find something we want. I want to add these uh, killer sunglasses right here to my store. You can see that it has a few variants. We've got rose color, blue, ice mirror. We have a blue mirror with black, and I can click on these to see the different variants. It does ship with ePacket. They sell for $16.76. We've got some designer sunglasses. So what I want to do now is get this in, into my store. So I have two options. One, I can, uh, without Shopify app, Carl was referring to this, I literally have to go and um, down, figure out how to get these images. First of all, I see I can't really drag and drop because they're, they have this weird, uh, you know, the little magnifier over it. So it doesn't let me drag and drop. If I try to right click, it won't let me save it as image. So what Carl was saying, he has, his wife does drop shipping and she literally had to take screenshots of this. So you, you would have to take screenshots of each of these and then save them to your computer and put them in some type of folder and then rename them. So it gets a little uh, burdensome. So you have to do that for each of these. And then you have to figure out, a, you know, figure out how to get all the variants in there. And then you have to scroll down and copy and paste all of this. So that is one way that you can do it. So you get all of that onto your computer and then you can go in to your Shopify store. And I'm just going to go into a little demo store app here just to show you what this looks like. All right, so I'm going to go to products. I'm going to add a product here. And I'm not going to do the whole thing because it would be uh, <laughs> very excruciating to watch. But you, you would give it a title so you can manually type all of this in. So I could say designer sunglasses. And then you could copy and paste the description and get rid of the parts that you don't want. And then after you've downloaded all of those images, you would need to uh, drop or drag and drop all of these to upload it to your store. You need to set the price. You need to set a compare at price. You need to put in the shipping weight. And then do you remember all of those variants? You literally have to click add variants, give it maybe something, a name like color or something like that. And then I have to actually copy in all of those variants with a comma. And then I have to go, uh, so let's say I did like blue, red, green. You can see how it's creating these different variants here. I then have to go through and put in all the prices. And then after I put in all the prices, it, it should give me a place to actually put in the images as well. So just imagine you had 50 products in your store. This gets a little painful. So instead of doing that, I'm going to show you what we uh, what Shopify app does. It's basically as an overview. It is an app to help speed up uh, your dropshipping business. It helps manage your entire dropshipping business. So we've we've added a ton of features for this. So if you go here, you'll see it consists of two parts. It's a, a Chrome extension here, and it's also a web application. And this is the web application part of it. This is a place where uh, all of your products are stored. And it has so, a oh, go ahead, Carl. So can I chime in there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, ba yeah. basically, like, what, what is the, the Chrome extension does, just to kind of reference that, is it, it does all the stuff that, that Chase just mentioned. It grabs all the, the images and the different variances and links them all together. Uh, the pricing, the text, the title, all the stuff is basically put in there. Uh, and grab with that Chrome extension. Once it grabs it from the Chrome extension, it puts it into that application so you can manage it from there if you want. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, so now I'm using the Chrome extension. We just saw the old way. So here is the Shopify app way. Uh, it grabs the title for you and you can quickly just change the title here. 
uh, it, it can do automatic price markups for you, or you can just custom set the price. All of these are um, able to be edited. And then you can see it grabs all of the image for you auto automatically. And if you see something here you don't want, for example, maybe I don't want this side view, I can just click it to get rid of it. And then I can even click this more images and Shopify app will actually scan the page, the product page, to see if it can find more images for you. So you can see it found all of these other images. So maybe you want some of these. So I can just click that and it adds it to my images. The next thing we can do here is just click more options. It already pulls the category for us. And this is a, the huge part right here. It already pulls the variance. Remember where we had to type in the color and type all of those colors in? So it pulls all of those for you automatically. And then you can even add more variants if you wanted to. You have a couple options to make the product visible, or if you're not ready to make it visible quite yet, you can uncheck that. And you can check whether to export the description or not. And this is called the simplified description. It actually takes just a, a part of the description and, and formats it uh, where it already looks uh, pretty good so you can put it into your store without having to delete a bunch of extra stuff. All right, so once um, you've got everything set like you want it, you have two options. You can save it for later, or you can send it to your Shopify store. So in this case, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and send it to my Shopify store. So I'll go ahead and click this, and it typically takes about 10 to 12 seconds, depending on a couple of things. One, it's how many variants do you have. So you can see up here. This one had you know, a decent amount of variance. So it's actually going through and connecting with the Shopify API right now. And it is sending all the variants and setting them up. And you can see it's already uh, added it to the Shopify store. I can just click this and it will take me directly to the product page. So you can see it has the title I put in, it has that description, all the images have been uploaded. And look at this, this is what's really cool. All of the variants have been added and all of the images have been added for the variants and all the prices have been added for the variants. So we just took something that literally takes 10 to 15 minutes on a, when you're focused and you're just churning out some images. Um, and we've added that in just a few seconds and with one click of a button. And that's the big time saver. Uh, drop shipping, it, it's amazing. It's, it's awesome. You can, you can get into it really easy. Easily, you can get your store set up really easily, but there are definitely some tedious parts of it, and that's why Shopify app was created uh, to make it even easier. So, why do something the hard way when there is a way to automate it to make it faster? There's no reason to spend your time doing you know all of this tedious stuff when you can focus more of your efforts on getting traffic to come to your page and making sales and uh, making your uh, your site really convert well. Those are the things you really need to spend your time doing, not adding products to your pages. So we have automated that with Shopify app. So Carl, do you, uh, at this point, is there anything I missed? Yeah. Because I do no, see I think questions coming in. I don't see the questions for whatever reason. Um, I think it might be because I'm as a, a panelist and not an organizer. Gotcha. But, but basically, what you just showed showed me the first time I saw this, by the way, I was blown away. Okay, I saw the pain point. I saw the, you know, I was like, why are people going to want to do Shopify when it takes you a half an hour to pull a product and put it onto your store? So that right there was just a, a, a major roadblock for me. Anyway, it could be a roadblock for a lot of other people too. I mean, I could see why Shopify was such an amazing product anyway because. Shopify stores are so simple to put together. They come with themes. They come with management features. They come with a lot of really cool features and 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 uh, and stuff without having to know code or without having to hire um, a developer to put together a store for you. You literally could put a store together in I don't know how long, maybe 15 minutes, maybe maybe 30 minutes. It depends on how how you're doing it. Um, you know, it just depends on your speed and how quickly you can get it. But like I said, it's like learning how to drive a car. Once you know how to drive a car, it becomes a habit, and you can do it over and over and over again quickly and fast. So um, what I was going to have you do, I was going to ask you, actually, I was going to ask you a couple of questions. One of my questions was why why Shopify over any other method versus like um, Amazon or 
uh, some of these other like WordPress themes, why would you want to use Amazon? I mean, why would you want to use Shopify over any of them? What does Shopify give you as a uh, as a business owner? Definitely. Are you asking me or are you asking Lawrence? I can. I'm asking both of you guys. What do you guys yeah. feel like? Okay. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go first as far as okay. uh, uh, Shopify versus Amazon. Or I even had a question here. Why wouldn't you just uh, you know send customers directly to um, AliExpress and make, maybe make a commission through like an affiliate program or something. So those are all very, very good questions. Great questions. So, uh, so Amazon, they actually have an affiliate program as well. And they also have something called fulfilled by Amazon, which is where you can sell products and they will list them. And those, and that's a great, it's a really great method, but there are some downsides of that. So, you're you're driving you're driving all this traffic. You're spending all of this money to get sales, and then with driving traffic to Amazon, if somebody purchases on Amazon, you don't get to keep that uh, buyer's email. And the reason that's important, okay, because well, first of all, Amazon keeps that information and they don't give it to you. So you don't. Uh, and the reason that's important is because as uh, as you grow in marketing and as you learn, one of the biggest ways to increase your profits is to be able to follow up with your customers and you know that they bought something uh, maybe they bought these sunglasses but what if they want a jacket to go with it uh, and maybe you know you just added a new style of sunglasses so you maybe you want to send out an email to that customer to say hey here's our new products well if you're sending traffic directly to Amazon they're getting to do that and they're making all of that money and you're not able to you're not able to do that. So that's the biggest downside of using other platforms. Shopify allows you to create your own store. When cu customers buy from you, um, this is my demo store, but I've had, had some orders here so I can show you. So when customers buy from you, you get all of their product, their information. So I can click into um, this here. You can see I, I know their address. I know their, uh, I have their email address. I get all of this information and I, I can follow up with email marketing. So that's huge. That's like one of the biggest, biggest reasons. And the, and the same thing with AliExpress, if you're sending traffic. Can I, can I chime in on that real yeah, quick too? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, this is something I want to make sure that people just understand and they get it because, uh, they just, I mean, I, you've, you've explained it well, but what I, what I want to get into is that like, I've got, I have friends that do really, really well with Amazon. They like love Amazon, but I've even heard them tell me some of the problems that there's times that they feel insecure because Amazon literally owns the list. They own the traffic and yeah, they, it's true. They'll sell products for you, but they have rules that come in all the time that, they like left and right. We hear stories about people being shut down uh, on Amazon and all of their products being either shipped back to them or they lose it. Or uh, and it's like it's like basically your business just could possibly. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I I can't say you know we don't know what the future is going to be. But I've heard some some pretty crazy stories where stuff has been shut down. The other thing that I've heard is that Amazon has all the analytics and. So like, let's say you wanted to push traffic to your store, Amazon doesn't necessarily want that, which is kind of strange, but there's, there's all these rules and stuff like that you have to follow. And then even for fulfilling on the back end, it's very time consuming as well. And so again, you can do both. I, I know people that actually do both, but they prefer, I've, you know, I've interviewed a lot of people and they prefer to actually work more on the Shopify end because they actually have just more control of their business. And like Chase was just showing you, there's like a list of all of these orders. You know, these are these are people that you will almost forever have in your store because they bought from you. And once they purchase something from you, there's this amazing thing that happens. It's like the trust barrier goes down. They've trusted you. And, and uh, once a buyer, always a buyer. So you always want to sell them on the back end with either like-minded products or you want to have sales, you know, think of like Groupon, think of like some of these really big e-com businesses that have these huge lists. And that's what they've done is they've built these, these huge lists of buyers because they've purchased from them. And not only that, these, some of these people could be people that didn't buy, but they abandoned the cart. You could actually send emails out to them and follow them around. There's some 
really cool things on the back end of Shopify that they have like a Shopify app store where you can actually add different apps that do different really cool things. And that's like some of the stuff we're going to cover on, on our, uh, our webinar series. We're doing a four part webinar series. We'll, we'll cover some of the apps and what they do and how they'll actually help you increase your business, upsells, downsells, all kinds of stuff that you can do on the back end. But I just wanted to kind of quickly, you know, identify that and help people understand that, like, what is the power of building a list? They always say the money is in the list. And, uh, and Lawrence, let me ask you, what's the size of your list of some of your stores that you've built and how has that impacted your business so far? Yeah. Um, um, one of my stores, my list is, uh, we have 15,000 buyers on one list and another like 20,000 people that opted in, like just gave me their email um, address because they wanted to receive our weekly newsletter. And um, on another store, we have about 10,000 um, subscribers as well. And I mean, the, the, this is that's an asset that you can just use like forever. You know, you can just email them once a week with a newsletter pertaining to your website and, you know, um, recommend some some products to them that might be relevant to what they purchased in the past. And, you know, that's, that's just income that continuously comes in and can just be set on autopilot. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. You know, how much, how much does it cost you to have a list of like 45,000 people? Uh, $79 a month. Um, I use a program called rare and, you know, they segment your list based on, you know, what the customer purchased in your store, and then you're able to, you know, email them based on that segmentation. And, and every time you send out an email, how much, what's your return of investment on that? I mean, there's like no advertising expenses. So yeah, I mean, so that, I mean, I'm paying $79 a month to email them. And, you know, I email them about once, once a week. And on average, you know, we get a few hundred dollars um, in sales, you know, every week from that email. So I mean, it's, it's just, it's like free income, money, you know? Yeah, it's just free money because, you know, we have it set out that the email automatically goes out. So we set it out, you know, for three months in advance and it just, you just let it go. I remember the, uh, the first post um, that you did a while back when you first did your first email because I think you, you didn't send an email out for like three months or something like that when you started your store. And uh, <clears throat> that first email, like, you did like 10 X sales or something like that. Yeah, it, it was, it was pretty crazy. It was, we, we were just, and we were generating a list, but we didn't have time to really monetize it cause we were too busy doing everything else. So yeah, once we sent out that first email, you know, the response was, was crazy. They just continuously placed orders there and we did, we did a bunch in sales. Cool. And Lawrence, do you have an office or you do this out of your home? No, I, I work right out of my uh, right out of my spare bedroom. And how how flexible is your life because of this? Oh man, extremely. We were, I was just talking to my fiance about that yesterday, and she was like, "Oh, you have such a great life. You're always in sweatpants and playing with the dog. So it's pretty <laughs> flexible. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, I I just wanted to kind of pick your brain a little bit more on that, and just you know, again, just diving into this a little bit so that people understand the power of building a list and that's what truly what, you know, Shopify gives you. That's what they give you. They've unlocked that part. They've given you a chance to build a brand and build a business from the ground up and, uh, and build multiple ones. And, and so it's a, it's a great journey to be on and a great lifestyle too. So, so Chase, if you want to continue and what I was thinking is maybe you could kind of quickly show people how easily it is to just sh you know, set up a, an actual Shopify store. Okay. Um, you know, maybe just go through like options, show them like themes and stuff like that. They have free themes and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. We have a couple questions too while I'm uh, browsing through this. Um, so Lawrence, what uh, one of the biggest questions I'm seeing here over and over again is, so we see what the price is on an AliExpress. How do we know how much to mark it up? So what's some rules of thumb or what? Uh, how do you approach that? Um. I go for like a perceived value um, type of thing. So if if I see an item, particularly like a jewelry type item that, you know, is, is selling on AliExpress for maybe one or two dollars, but maybe you do some research on 
on Amazon or eBay and you see that people are actually selling this for you know twenty dollars or thirty dollars. So I try to, you know, I want to be cheaper than the Amazon guy, but I also want to make money at the same time. So um yeah, there's no really rule of thumb because I've taken items that are two dollars and sold them for forty dollars. And I've also taken items, you know, that are ten dollars and sold them for twenty dollars. So um it's just kind of based on the research that you you kind of do on other sites. Gotcha. And what would you say, just as a general thing, another question I've seen is, okay, we've built our store, we have to run ads, so that, you know, that's another cost. What is, um, so tell, let people know about when you're pricing an item, how you have your costs and you have your revenue and how that kind of works to get your profit. Like what, what are your costs? typically right so um generally okay so basically yeah we're using facebook advertisement to drive traffic to our site so um depending on what you price your item at and how much you're getting profit will determine how much you are you can pay for you know a, a customer so if you are if you're buying an item for you know two dollars and you're selling it for $24, you have, you know, a $22 margin. So, you know, you can pay up to $22 um, for a customer to break even. So um, that's kind of like the mindset that you, you have to get. And um, okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah. I'll just quickly walk through how to, how easy it is to set up your store. So basically you can go to Shopify and they give you a free trial. So you can click the, the link for the free trial, and you'll see that's a 14-day free trial. Um, and I'll go ahead and set up an email here. I'll do a quick trick there for – this is – oh, my bad. I'm not at Shopify.com. <laughs> I don't work for Shopify. Um, yeah, so with a Gmail account, you can add the little plus in any word. And it'll still go to your same email address, but it will allow you to create different versions of that email address and you can filter it in your Gmail. So just a little tip there. Okay, let me go ahead and create a password. Well, that's my store name. So let's do a test store. All right, so now it's creating my store. I can just Give it a few minutes here, or a few seconds. All right, my store is ready to go now. It's going to ask for a, a few things. Uh, name, address. Uh, let's see, Birmingham. So you just answer a few questions and you enter your store. So when you first open your store, this is what you will, uh, what you will see. You can see it right here. It says your trial has just started and then it will ask you to select a plan at some point. So for now though, we can go ahead and begin to add products to our store. So as soon as we get the store set up, all you need to do to connect it to Shopify app is to go to your settings page or actually go to the apps section here and you will just go to private apps, create a private app, just name it Shopify app, save it, and it gives you this example URL. You literally just take that. You go over to Shopify app, go to stores, go to add store, and just copy and paste the URL in there. And it has added my store. So now I can actually start adding products to this. Uh, the other thing that you want to think about is once you when you visit the store, 
uh, you need to have a look for the store or the, a theme for the store. And the great thing about Shopify is there are tons of themes that you can pick for your store. So if we go over to, uh, let me see here where we want to go for this. Speaking of themes too, by the way, while you're looking for that, mm -hmm. um, how important is like, you know, do you, does your store need to be super pretty to sell anything on it? I'm going to ask Lawrence that because I look, I remember the first time I saw Lawrence's store and I was like, this is this not, no offense, but I was like, this store doesn't look that nice. <laughs> Lawrence, you want to chime in on that one? Are you there, Lawrence? Are you muted? He might be muted. Yeah. He might be muted. Oh, but yeah. yeah, I was muted. I was muted. Well, the, um, does your store need to look good? Was that the question? Well, yeah. I mean, like I saw the, I saw, like I remember the first store I seen of yours, and I, I thought I was thinking to myself that it was. I mean, it was a good, it was a good store, but I was like looking at the logo, and it just. Oh it, man, like, that thing was just patched together. Yeah, and it's like. It was like, it's, I mean, it's still up. It's still up the same way. It hasn't changed. You know, it's still the same. Really? But, um, that's, yeah, we haven't done anything to it, but, uh, that's, yeah, that's just, that's it looks proof. really old and, uh, outdated. <laughs> yeah. That's proof that the store doesn't need to look like, like a high tech store. It, it, it could be just something simple that has like a, a thrown together logo. I mean, you could always continue to beautify your store, but the point is, is that you can make money right away, uh, regardless of what the store looks like. So you can see right. there's some free themes right here. These are all free and they look pretty sharp. So scrolling through, um, and they, they recommend a few themes for you here, but if you go down to the bottom, it says view theme store, you can click that. And there are a lot of professional themes as well, uh, free and premium. So some of them you can pay for, or you can find one that you like that's free. Yeah, and, and the and the point I was really trying to make with that wasn't really, really to say your store was that bad, but it was the point is that you can actually put the store together right away and uh, and make money. You know, you can make money on the store w without having to spend forever because some you know we're all perfectionists sometimes. You know, we're like we we ha it has to be perfect before I can make my store go live, and it doesn't. That was really my point is that it doesn't have to be perfect. You can just kind of patch something together and then quickly start running ads to it and make money right away. And like Lawrence, he just said, he just told me, he's like, that store hasn't changed at all because why change it if it's working? Why change it if it's working? And that's just, that's pretty cool. That's actually awesome that you're doing that. All yeah, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just added a theme. You could see I was browsing for themes, added a theme and now it was just literally just a click of the button and I already have a nice looking theme here. Now I just need to add some products and maybe pay somebody on fiverr.com to create a logo for me, a nice looking logo. And I'm pretty much ready to roll. So I've already connected this. Let's just go ahead and add a few products to it and we will have a store that's up and ready to go. We'll start out with some necklaces. We'll go with this wish necklace. We'll go with... I'm just holding down, uh, I'm on a Mac, so I'm just holding down the command key. And I'm just clicking it, and it will open it in a new tab. So we will go with, let's see, this owl necklace. This looks nice. I'll do the I love you to the moon and back. And let's do one more here. Let's do this mom necklace. Okay. So you can see I've opened these in some new tabs. I'll just click here, and I'll click on this. And I'm just going to save it uh, for later right now. Go ahead and save it for later. We'll save all of these for later. And what this is doing right here is it's actually saving them to the uh, Shopify app web application. And I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so you can see how easy it is. I just sent one, one, two, three, four, five different products to the app. So I'll go ahead and view inside of the Shopify app. So this takes me to the product page. I'm gonna go back over here to products, and you can see all of these products have just been added. Looks really nice. So now what I can do, I can do a couple of different things. One, 
I can uh, do a bulk edit on these products. So let's do, let me just try this real quick. So you can see I can edit a few things. What if they all had the same category like necklaces or a tag, something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in necklace here. I can change it to a weight if I wanted to, or I could change the price. Let's go ahead and change the price to maybe like $12.95. I'm just doing this for a couple of them right now. Okay, so you can see it updated the price for me. It even added the necklace category. So just like that. That's the cool thing about it. You can do bulk edits on all of this stuff. Uh, the next thing I can do is, um, let me see something here. So we've got our bulk edits there. See, this is our bulk edit screen as well. So you can go through here and actually easily make some changes to the titles just really quickly. I'm not going to do that here, but I just wanted to just let you know, it's really easy to go in there and make some edits. Uh, the next thing I wanna do, I just wanna go ahead and send these to my new Shopify store. So I'll just select, I'll select a few of them here. And let's go to send to Shopify, I hit apply. Here's my new test store. And it's gonna take a little bit because there's three products and it's having to deal with the Shopify API, but it doesn't take too long. You can see the progress bar. And I just, uh, while that's going, I just saw a question, can you make all of the images the same size in bulk edit? So with bulk edit, you actually uh, aren't able to resize the images, but I do wanna show you something really, really cool in just a second here. All right, so those are finished adding to my store. So now let's go back over to our test store. Let's go to the products page and there they are. So now we have those three image or those three products in our store just like that. And that just to just, and that's with me kind of explaining through everything. If you do this a couple of times, you can just start knocking out products left and right. And let's go ahead. You can see all of these are hidden by default. So I think you can, uh, we can edit the products or go in. There's a way to actually in Shopify, you can uh, mark them as not hidden. I was just gonna show you. I'll just go ahead and put it in our online store here. Save it. And we can view this product on the store. All right, so just like that, we have products in our store. You can see all of the different images are here. You can see all of the uh, variants are already added. We already have a, a sale price for it and people can go ahead and buy. And that's the, one of the most important things you wanna get. You wanna get products up in your store and get a buy button on your store where people, people can start checking out and giving you money for your products. And it's, it's, really, it's really easy to get started with Shopify app. It just, it really does make it easy. So saying that, uh, there are a few questions so we can answer questions. And Carl, do you have anything else that uh, we need to cover in this webinar. Yeah, I mean, I got, I definitely have a couple more things that I want to go over, but um, go ahead and answer the questions. I mean, I, I hope everybody got to see how quickly and easy it is for them to actually set up this store. Um, it was right away. I mean, that that's how quickly you can put products onto your store that you could start selling immediately. So um, I hope everybody saw the power of that, um, how fast and easy it was to do that versus you know the old way that we were talking about. But uh, as far as far as that, let's go ahead and answer a few more questions. And then I've got a few questions. It's like, you know, sometimes when we're asking questions, we always miss some questions or like should ask questions. So um, I've got a few things that I wrote down that I think are some questions that people would are probably thinking or they just haven't asked yet. So let's go ahead and uh, answer those questions now and then we'll get into it. Okay. All right. Uh, I see a couple questions here. I did want to show you this. Um, as you can, as you go in here, it saves all of your information. So you can see everything is saved and you can edit it right inside the app. You can change the price, change the compare app price, add tags, uh, add, it has a nice little text editor here. So I can even drag this down and make it bigger. I can add images here if I wanted to. You can see it, it brought in all of the images right here. Uh, and in the uh, elite version of the app, you can actually edit the images, which is really, really cool. You can do cropping and resizing. So I can actually crop this. Or if, if for some reason, some of the vendors put little watermarks on it. If it was right there, I could just crop it out if I wanted to. Um, 
So that's really nice. And um, and then you can, then you'll just save it for later or you can send it to your Shopify store. So I just, I uh, just wanted to show you that feature. So right inside the app, it has an image editor built in on the elite version. You do get the original listing is saved here. It gives you a link to the lit original product. So that's important because uh, unless you don't want to re be dealing with a spreadsheet full of just random links. So this is nice that everything is saved for you. You can always reference that original product. And this is uh, really great as well. It shows you the shipping information. So you always have a reference right here to that. You even have a place where you can type in some notes if you want to. And these aren't saved to Shopify. These are your own private notes right here in the web app. And then this is the connections tab. And again, it saves that original product link for you. So all of that is included here. All right, so let's go ahead and scan through a few questions. All right, so someone says the only, so the only way to get traffic is Facebook ads. Uh, that is a great way to get traffic. It's definitely not the only way. So it's just like with any offer, anything that you're selling, uh, you can use all the available resources. You can use free social media. You can use Facebook ads. You can, use, uh, you can try to rank your site in Google or the other search engines and get search engine traffic. You can use Pinterest, or free Pinterest, or the, like the social posting, or you can even do Pinterest ads, uh, Instagram or Instagram ads. All there's just like with anything, you just uh, need to be. You can be creative and use the tools that you have at your disposal. Use the budget yeah, at your disposal, and, and you're not restricted, you know, to use, uh, you know, great methods. I should say, like SEO methods, or you're not really restricted to what you can send to your store as far as traffic. Traffic can come in many different types. You know, you can buy banner ads, you can do YouTube videos, you could think of like creative ways to do it. But a big way that people are doing it today is Facebook and that's gonna be something that's just included. Uh, we're gonna do some, we're, we're doing a four part series for all of the people that purchase the Shopify app now while we're still in our launch. Uh, we're gonna have a four part series that we're gonna teach some of these methods, some of the ways to get traffic to your store so you can make sales right away. Awesome. All right. So here's a question and it says, how do you track availability and price changes on AliExpress? So we do have a few upgrades and in one of those upgrades uh, to the app, you can track those things. That is definitely possible because that is a huge headache. Uh, so uh, we, we have a part place in the app that can do that. And that is in one of those upgrades. All right, so I see a question from Terry here. It says, what is the link to share for our store? Uh, Terry, could you elaborate on that just a little bit? And Andy says, wow. So that looks like- I, really I, think, I think I know what that, I think I know what that question is. He wants to see like Lawrence's stores or someone's store. But the one thing that we have to do is we have to try to keep like the integrity of someone's store. Like if we have a special guest on one of our calls, um, it's it's really kind of up to them if they want to share to the store. But typically, most people that are in this business, just under the integrity of it, they're they're not necessarily going to want to share their store. But what they will do is I will definitely give you lots of tips on some ideas on products. But what I can also tell you is that the product doesn't necessarily matter. What matters is that you can identify who a target audience is and build a product around that. So just to kind of answer that question. All right. Michelle says that you can use Instagram as a traffic source. That's correct, you can. Let's see. Uh, Rick says he appreciates the feedback from Lawrence on all the costs. That was very helpful. And he says, do you, he, does Lawrence have a rule of thumb on how much he targets to spend as a percentage of revenue? So basically, what's the percentage of your ad costs? You have like a target, you know, do you don't want to spend any more than 20% or do you have any ideas or thoughts on that Lawrence? Um, no, really at the end of the day, I just kind of monitor how much money I spent and how much money came in. And, um, I just want to make sure that, uh, you're making, you, a know, profit. That I, you know, making a profit. Yeah. That it's positive. Kind of a rule of thumb and in, in marketing. It's just like just an idea of marketing is like if I put a dollar in and I get two back, if I put a dollar in, I get three back. I put $10 in, I get 20 back or 30 back. 
So that's that's kind of the rule of thumb in most marketing, you know, explanations too is that you're, you know, you're getting a return of investment. Now, the thing about like even Facebook, for instance, their algorithm changes, things change. So some some days, I would say Facebook is probably really killing it and is awesome. And some days it's going to be a lower return of investment. So that's just kind of to touch on that as well. All right, we have a question here. It says, when we create a store, where does the traffic go? Is there a domain that we can use to promote our stores? So I can answer that really quick. So you'll notice here on this store, it says test-store-chase.myshopify.com. So that's like the Shopify URL that they give you. But you definitely don't want to use that. Uh, so they actually give you the ability to connect a domain name that you purchase from somewhere like GoDaddy or somewhere else. And they show you inside there how to connect that domain with your store so that it could say something like coolnecklaces.com. So that's definitely what you would want to do. And then when you have that coolnecklaces.com, that's the link that you would use to promote into all of your ads, your Facebook ads. All right. I'm uh, if there aren't any more questions, Carl, I know you had a, a few questions that you wanted to ask. Yeah, I, I mean, really, we're going to go ahead and shut this thing down soon because we've actually gone over our hour. We're like an hour and five or ten minutes in at this point. And I know everybody's got a life. we got stuff we got to do. There's, there's a lot of things going on. But really what I want to end on, unless someone else has something else that they want to touch on, is timing, okay? Right now, even if you looked, even when we were looking at, uh, we we're looking at uh, Lawrence's stores, we noticed that his sales were spiked on certain times towards this, and it was in the summertime, and he started late in the summer. But why is right now the most important and one of the best times to get started in your e-com business? And Lawrence, do you have anything you want to touch on that as far as like, why, why would you think if you were new, do you wish you would have started now versus when you did? In the time of the year is what I'm getting at. Oh, I mean, time time of the year? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's no better time than now. So why wouldn't you just start now? I mean, um, when I started, I started like in August, and then we, you know, we spiked um, in September and October. It was more of like a seasonal item. And, um, I mean, yeah, you just kind of, I mean, there's always a good time for e-commerce. There's never a bad time. I do have there's some. never a bad time but what I was kind of getting at is like right now is a perfect time to to get started uh, is because we have like the summer about to, we just got into spring you know when the, when it gets the weather gets nice people get in the buying twitches and the buying moods to buy stuff online mainly people buy stuff by impulse and so you know when that when it's a nicer time outside sales come in more people get out, more people go and buy stuff, and they do it online, on their phone, anywhere. Oh, but you want to sure. be ready. It's, you want to be ready for like those those big sales dates that are coming up. Yeah, everybody wants to spend that income tax check now, so you gotta um, hop on hop on fast. Yeah, income taxes, Mother's Day, Fourth uh, of July. Um, and then going into like the winter months as well, like like the very beginning when you have Thanksgiving and the day after that, and you have like independent sales and you have Christmas coming up. I mean, some people I've heard this that some people do most of their sales in the month of December. And if you were to start at, at a different timeline, like that's what I was getting to. If you started a different timeline, it's tough to get yourself ready and prepared for something like that. And that's why I'm saying right now is the best time of the year to get started. So what I want to do, guys, is I want to go ahead and wrap up. Um, if there's, is there, Chase, is there any other questions that are that have popped up recently that we should touch on? If not, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this call up. Gotcha. We hope that you, got, you know, you guys got a ton of value out of this. There is one more question I do want to cover that just came in from Andy, and he okay. said it's actually a really good question. It says, are there any product category products or categories that you don't recommend to start with? And I would say yes, there are some. You, um, when you're doing this, primarily uh, the method that we recommend is to use Facebook ads. So when you're when you're thinking about products, you don't want to do anything that's super generic. Definitely don't want to sell like toilet paper or you know number two pencils or anything that you can get at Walmart right down the road. That's uh, really generic. 
think about just think about your Facebook news feed as you scroll. What's going to what's going to pop out? Uh, what's going to really stand out and have a little uh, something that's a little fun or maybe unique? And and Lawrence, what, what would your thoughts be on that as well? I know you probably have some good thoughts. Yeah, um, just stay away from, like you said, yeah, generic products that um, like that, that necklace on, on the screen is probably not the best item to sell on Facebook because it's just really, um, it's kind of hard to uh, find a market for that, for that specific necklace. But um, yeah, so that's good uh, to think about, like, what is your mindset when you're picking a product and you know you've, you're going to advertise it on Facebook, kind of what are you already starting to think of what angles that you can use or how? Like if you had a particular necklace, how you can present it to a certain target market? Yeah, I always try to find like a, a niche specific item that I know I can target on Facebook. So like maybe like horse lovers, because, you know, you can find people that like horses or, some, or maybe uh, people that like turtles. If that's, you know, things that are easily targetable on Facebook. I, ch I try to go with that, um, picking that niche so that it's easier to target. Great. Okay. All right, Carl. I think that is a wrap for the question. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Well, I'm, I'm extremely excited about this whole thing. It's, it's just the, the, the whole thing that really to put the picture in and get the grasp the idea of what this does for you is it, it actually is a way to get yourself in the e-com business and really just like fast track yourself into the business and get your, your whole, you know, it's a business, okay? You have to look at this as a business. And if you want to be an entrepreneur, in order to be an entrepreneur, you have to own a business. And what better business out there than something you could have full control over, something you could build a massive list of buyers, people that you can sell products that follow in their niche and their ideas, the things that they're passionate about. People buy things that they're that they're that they love like you know you're talking about turtles you're talking about horses i've seen kitten socks okay people making twenty thirty thousand dollars a month selling kitten socks and as crazy as that sounds people are very passionate about their about what they love about what they want to do and so understanding like your audiences and understanding your products and meshing those together with disruptive impulsive marketing that you can actually crush it on in this business and the timing guys the timing is right now this is the time to get in this business and, and start making money so that way you can be prepared and you can be ready for those those big sales that come up those flash sales those cyber mondays those black fridays those christmases those independence days those fourth of july's there's so many times and this is and the time is now because we started my wife started her e-com business very late and she missed out on that and I would hate for you guys to miss out on some of the big possibilities and opportunities that you could take your business to the next level you can easily guys you could be sitting there on the couch somewhere thinking to yourself how am I gonna get started where what am I gonna do how am I gonna do this well we've just basically eliminated all of those objections all of those self-talk all of that chatter that's keeping you from making money because we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get you started right away with the Shopify app because it's just gonna make life easy you don't have to be a coder you don't have to know how to hire someone to do this for you you can do it all from the comfort of your own home and you can get started small and then you can scale out when you find those winners and make and again make six figures this year it it you can do it but it's up to you to take some action now and get this app before the price skyrockets because guys, we have a big back-end plan for the Shopify app and it's gonna be at $9.95, okay? For a, and, and on top of that, it's gonna be very, very expensive if you wanted to pay monthly. So right now you can get it at one price and keep it for lifetime and not have to worry about that as an added expense on top of everything else. When you're looking at a return of investment and you start thinking like a business owner and you start thinking like an entrepreneur. And so for those that are out there that are our entrepreneurs, I know we're at the same wavelength, but we wanna take people that don't know anything about this, like really newbie and transform their life and show them the way and hand them something that's just gonna make it easy. So we're gonna go ahead and end this call now. I urge you, to take action now, get yourself set up with your first store, get your Shopify app started. You can take advantage of this before our next price increases or before the doors close. So guys, 
I urge you now, take advantage of this while you still can. But right now, we're going to go ahead and end it. And I want to thank you guys all from the bottom of my heart for being on here. Lawrence, thank you so much, man, for being on this call. You are an inspiration to us all. Chase, thank you for, for putting together an ultimate app that makes life easy makes things easy for us. It takes care of a major massive problem. So let's go ahead and finish this. Thanks for joining us and hopefully we'll see you uh, on the next call, on the next webinar, these four webinar series that we're gonna put on right after that. And these are, guys, uh, before I, we stop it, the, these series, these are four series, okay, of webinars, nuts to bolts. We're gonna teach you how to, we're gonna answer those questions. Maybe you're struggling with like what type of theme I'm gonna find.